Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about some LED parking lot lighting. I've got the Dorado XLE fixture here, which is our most popular model that we put into parking lots for area lighting and flood lighting. This fixture starts at 15,000 lumens and we can get it as high as 37,000 lumens. Our next model, the XLP, which uses a stronger driver and higher grade diodes, goes from 40,000 lumens up to 70,000 lumens. Anything requiring over 70,000 lumens, we would consider sports lighting, and that would be our Athleta LED sports lighting product line, which goes from 70,000 lumens into 100 and something thousand lumens. These fixtures here, you would typically install on poles about as low as 12 to 15 feet, and you would install the 37,000 lumen model depending on uh, requirements for foot candles, up to about 35, 45 feet. And then once you get over the 40, 45 foot marker, that's when you're gonna start looking at the higher lumen models into the 50 and 60,000 range. However, if you have a car dealership or you have an area requiring high foot candle standards, then that's when it would be acceptable to use a 50 or 60,000 lumen fixture on a pole that's 25 feet or so. Most importantly is the circuit board and the diodes. Many people don't understand that when you're looking at an LED product, there are different grades and different prices for the electrical components. This gives you your lifetime, this gives you your reduced rate of failure, and then also with the lenses, this is a very important product because these fixtures, if they are ever tilted on a pole for area lighting, the lenses can get hit by the sun and if you have an inexpensively made lens or a cheap lens as we'll call it that could yellow and this could severely degrade the rate of light output that you get from your fixture so whenever I'm looking at an LED project for parking lot or area lighting the first thing I always think about is what is the voltage these fixtures here come in two types of voltages we call that low voltage and high voltage the drivers on the inside here of this product tell you whether or not the fixture will be low voltage or high voltage because of how the drivers are made. So 120 to 277 is your low voltage range, 340 to 480 is your high voltage range. You typically see 480 volt high voltage on older projects or very large projects. You typically see your low voltage 120 to 277 on your smaller projects or your newer projects so the other items that you need to be aware of is that when you're looking at your parking lot lighting you do have options you have the lumen output that you can get which comes from the number of circuit boards that you have one two or even three on our dorado xle fixture the power at which you drive current to the diodes that gives you your output which is your lumens and then also with your lenses the type of lensing that you use which will shape the area in which the light goes this is very important because you don't want to use a lens that shoots straight forward and then have a dorado fixture mounted incorrectly like this so that all of your light shoots up into the air this is one of the most common problems we see with led flood lighting is that people typically will point the led fixture straight up with a lens that points straight up and so there's actually no foot candles or illuminance that actually hits the ground and that's why it's so important to work with an experienced project manager or an experienced salesperson for your led lighting project on the back of the fixture here you'll notice a knockout this knockout is actually for a photo cell so if you wanted your fixtures to automatically come on during the day or night you can attach a photo cell to the fixture if you have an experienced electrician in doing an installation which you always should you can also install a, a photo cell one photo cell to control multiple lights so that's an option there you can also use a time clock near the control panel uh, to turn the lights on and off at specific times you can also do motion sensors on your led lighting uh, that way whenever somebody passes by a specific area the lights will turn on that's not as common with exterior lighting as it is for interior lighting so we've talked about the output we've talked about the voltages we've talked about the photo cell and motion sensor sensor options the diodes <clears throat> i cannot stress enough 
are very, very important. These diodes are actually machine applied. Years ago, many manufacturers would hand apply the diodes and that was resulting in faulty fixtures. I've seen a number of those, uh, a number of circuit boards still have diodes that are hand applied. This really reduces the lifetime of your fixture. This could take you from a fixture that would last for 10 to 20 to 30 years to a fixture that would only last for less than five years. Uh, your driver is also a very important product to make sure you're getting a good electrical component out of, which is here in the driver compartment. Drivers typically range in a cost um, when purchased directly from the manufacturer for about $30 up to $100. You wanna make sure you get a good driver. This is the number one fail rate or the number one item that's gonna fail on your product. And if you have a good driver, you're really reducing your risk when purchasing LED lighting. And since you have to have most all flood fixtures installed with a lift, you wanna make sure that you get a driver that's not gonna go out on you within a year or two when you're looking at a product that should last for at least a minimum of 10 plus years. So that's all I've got for you today. That's our uh, talk on LED parking lot lighting. With any questions, just give us a call. Thank you.